Hey everyone, um, welcome back to another Jurassic World Alive video. Today, um, we have some exciting updates for the game. Um, recently there was a data download, just yesterday actually, um, which had, um, quite a few, uh, new things. It's, um, we suspect it's a server-side update since, uh, the app, uh, itself didn't get an update. Um, uh, iOS is still on point uh, two six, and Android's still on point two two. So um, nothing really new on the uh, uh, app wise. So um, uh, let's just go over a few of these um, new updates then. So um, uh, we're on MetaHub right now. Uh, they have the articles up for um, the news from yesterday. So first of all, um, we have the new incubator. That's for the. Um, it's actually not a showcase incubator. It's like they call it like hybrid ingredient incubator or whatever. Um, I guess it's um, just for hybrids, at least from um, reports. That's uh, what we hear. It's just um, ingredients for different hybrid dinos. Uh, as you can see, see um, there's uh, on the photo you have. Baryonyx for uh trist tristoronyx or whatever. I I I I can't I can I can never rem remember that name. But yeah, you got that. You got postmetrodon, which is uh Postsuchus and Metrodon. Uh you got uh Stegoceratops. Um personally, um unless you have a lot of cash on your hands, I wouldn't really purchase this offer because um well, because of the next offer. <laughs> this next offer is good. We haven't had a coin deal in one or two weeks. And boy, did they give us a good one. This is the best coin deal so far. Um, if you have 500 cash, go over and purchase one. If you got 1,000 cash, uh, go purchase two. If you got 1.5k cash, purchase three. Just throw all your cash into this coin deal. Um, unfortunately, though, this is only for uh, VIPs, so um, another reason to get VIP, I guess. <laughs> this is an extremely good deal. That's a 50% bonus from the uh, your normal chest of coins, so that's, uh, what's that, 500,000? Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, it's, it's, it's good enough for maybe one or two levels of a no definitely not two levels but probably one level for a over level 20 dino um which is incredible and it's 500 cash for one and you could buy three times so then you could have a uh, 100,000 coins <laughs> for um only 1.5k uh cash which is great um, also, um, this was before, this was written before the, um, second part of yesterday's update, so, um, I'll talk to you guys about that later. Um, <laughs> this, this, uh, special event thing is pretty interesting, too. Um, let's see what else. Oh, um, if, and, um, if you guys like, uh, MetaHub, you guys use MetaHub and, um, would like to be a part of MetaHub to contribute... Um, you can, uh, there's a link here, because the, um, uh, Dino Dex right now needs contributors to, uh, uh, for individual Dino entries, um, so if, uh, for example, if you use blue a lot, and you see that blue doesn't have an entry yet on the, uh, Dino Dex for its usage and stuff, um, you could, uh, click this link here, it'll bring you to... Uh, a Google form and you can fill fill this out just put your uh, username on discord or your JWA in game name and then the dino you're providing a description for and then you can enter the description so for example if you um, uh, let's see let me pull up an example let's see who doesn't have Baryonyx probably doesn't yep if you see over here Baryonyx doesn't have a description yet Unlike, um, oops, it's too much. Um, unlike 
Allosaurus, who has a description, uh, which, who did this one? I think it was either Boone or Crot, or was it Zero? Um, but, uh, yeah, just, uh, just write about, uh, the dino a bit, how it's used, um, its stats, uh, how they, you know, line up compared to other dinos, uh, just around 100 words. If you want to help contribute to MetaHub, uh, quite a few dinos don't have their entries yet. Uh, Kong have got Dilophosaurus, you know, all these fun dinos. Indoraptor, I, I myself will be writing a few um, in the next few days uh, just to help uh, finish this project up. So if you're interested in doing that, helping out the community, um, contributing to MetaHub, you know, please uh, feel free to just go over there and uh, enter in some uh, entries for yourself. So that's for, um, that's just a little update on MetaHub. And then the second part of yesterday's update, which was a data download, which is quite, quite interesting. <laughs> so got part two of the news roundup by, I don't know who this person is, but you know, whatever. <laughs> okay, so first of all, the most exciting part of yesterday's uh, revelations was that there, uh, Ludia is working on uh, reworking the special event, or updating, um, if you want to call it, but you know, so it seems more like a rework. So on their forms, uh, uh, forums, um, they've posted an announcement about the special events. So before how our special events go is like, we have a week, seven days, um, there's a, you know, they give us a showcase incubator and that's seven dinos, a dino per day. Common is, uh, 12 attempts. Rare is, uh, three attempts, epic three attempts. Don't know about legendary, uniques one attempt. And um every day there will be one dino, and that dino will change every day. So what they're doing with this new uh rework of the event is that they're taking um multiple dinos and putting them across multiple days. And they're sort of like combining the attempts. So, for example, um, an example they used on their website is, uh, for example, on July the 2nd and 3rd, both uh, Sarko and Tani could appear as event dinos. So, on the 2nd and the 3rd, both of them appear, and they will have a combined attempt rate of, uh, of 24 attempts. So, before commons were 12 attempts each, and now you have two in you know, you could combine these two attempts and you could have 24 attempts. So, uh, if you wanted more Sarcos for the rumored, uh, Sarco hybrid later, you could do, you know, 20 attempts on Sarco and just four attempts on Tanny. But if you want Tanny more, since Tanny is actually a pretty, it's a pretty strong common at the moment, you could, you know, go full into Tanny, 24 Tannies. You know, no Sarcos, Sarco, you know, just leave it be. It's not that good. You can see it ev everywhere. And you could just go full 24 attempts on Tanny. And then, for example, if they, you know, have, like, epics, um, Pyroraptor and uh, Postmetrodon, uh, for example. Um, you know, you see Postmetrodon everywhere. You know, it's everywhere. It's a global spawn. Uh Pyroraptor is a local one spawn. It's a really strong dinosaur. Um, it has a decent hybrid. Uh, you could just, instead of your normal uh, three attempts for Pyroraptor, three attempts for Postmetronaut, you could just go six attempts on Pyroraptor and just leave Postmetronaut on to be. But um, uh, of course, now that um, they have multiple dinos appearing each day, they'll have different spawn rates. So it won't be guaranteed that every uh, event stop is going to be a Sarko, or is going to be a Tanny, or going to be an uh, Indominus, or whatever. So um, you'll have to go look for them, which is which is better. So, you know, uh, you have an incentive to kind of 
go around look for these dinos since they are guaranteed to appear at event stop but just not guaranteed which one will um so that's exciting and on their website on on their forums they uh posted this interesting graph here um if you see event drops common rare epic legendary and unique so you know that's of course really hype because that means potentially there will be legendary event dinos we've seen unique um one unique before that was indoraptor last uh saturday um that was unbelievable <laughs> everyone thought it was like a troll or whatever um uh although we only got one attempt on it but you know um it personally it helped me a lot uh to other people who don't have a level 20 in Dominus or a level 20, uh, uh, what do you call it, Velociraptor, it, it's, it's good, but, you know, it's not immediately helpful, but to me it was really helpful at the moment, because um, I was working on Indoraptor anyways, and then that was, and I got 82 on it, it, that was a great boost, but, um, legendary if we look at the uh attempts we could speculate you know uh epic is three attempts rare is three attempts common 12 attempts unique is one attempt maybe legendary could be one attempt maybe it could be two attempts so um that could be that could be really interesting because look um unique you need 250 dna to create one right so um uh uh that's why uh a lot of people are dissatisfied with the um, dissatisfied with the Interruptor event because it's 250 DNA to create it. You only got one shot, um, and it was kind of buggy too the other day. Um, so people would get like 20 DNA, 50 DNA. Uh, like even me at a high level with VIP, I got 82 DNA. It's not close to creating it. Not even. Yeah, uh, you can't. A lot of people can't even get half or a third. I don't think anyone got a half, unless they, you know, did something naughty. <laughs> um, uh, I barely got a third. Uh, no, I got, I got a bit over a third, which is uh nice. But um, you know, uh, wait, two fifty divided by three is, hmm. Okay, whatever, but, you know, uh, <laughs> you get the point. So, um, the uh, thing with legendary is you need you only need 200 DNA to create a legendary dino. And, um, personally for me, at, with VIP at level 12, um, it's pretty easy to get over 100 DNA on epics. Uh, I usually get um, about 110 to 130 uh, DNA on epics. Um, I get over 150 on the more easier epics like uh, Colosuchus uh, and Kylosaurus, uh, all those folks. But um, Legendary, if you only need 200 DNA, and if you get two attempts, you get 100 on each attempt, you know, with restarting all, you, you, you get the Legendary. And, you know, if you're like me who already is working on a lot of legendaries. Personally, I'm working on, uh, uh, let me check my game. Uh, never mind. I don't have Wi-Fi right now. Um, uh, I'm working on Monostegotops. I have, I was, I've been super unfortunate on Monostegotops. Uh, every single DNA shot was 10 DNA. So I only have, like, I only have, uh, 70 DNA on Monostegotops right now. If they give us two attempts for a legendary, and I get, you know, legendaries could, probably gonna be harder to hit but i got 80 on indoraptor say i get 90 on both shots that's 180 then that means i can unlock monostegatops then um then you could do like other legendaries which i'm close um uh who else am i close to uh oh uh, uh spinotosuchus you know, if it gives me two shots, I get Spinosuchus. That's a free legendary. And even if it gives a legendary I have, um, if it's Megalosuchus, um, I have the means to level up Megalosuchus, but I'm just kind of waiting for the update, see what they do with the counter dinos and uh, the spinos to level where should I put my um, Cabra DNA into. But um, one attempt is one level for Megalosuchus. 
basically, since you only need 100 to level up. So two attempts is one and a half levels, maybe even two levels. So if they're going to release legendaries, that's going to be great. And remember, remember, if they release two legendaries, that's a combined attempt of four attempts on one legendary you could do. So if they release, like, um, say, uh, Indominus Rex and um, Indominus Rex and Gigaspikasaur, you know, I already have Indominus Rex at level 20. I don't really need Indominus Rex for much, and it's really easy to get. All you need is Rex and Velociraptor DNA. Um, I could just throw all my coins into um, the uh, Giga Spikasaur. I have four attempts on Giga Spikasaur. That's that's 100% guaranteed you're going to get Giga Spikasaur with four attempts. And probably even a level or two with that, too. So when they're going to throw out legendaries, you know, a unique, unique's cool, but, you know, one attempt with 250 DNA, you're probably not going to make it. Um, epic, epic is easy to make, but legendary, if they give us two attempts, we could easily make a legendary. So that is extremely exciting. So, um, think about what legendaries that they might, uh, bring us. You know, um, uh, the legendaries that we've been having, well, we didn't have legendaries, but we've had, like, um, materials for legendaries, uh, the last, f uh, few weeks for events. You know, we got the, um, Indoraptor, the Indominus, uh, who else, uh, Stegodius, and this week is, uh, Tri- whatever it's called, I probably wrote it here, Triostronics, yeah, so, um, this is really got that, we could probably see Allosinosaurus, Monostegastop, uh, Pyrotator, Gigaspike, you know, Megalosuchus, Spinota, you know, we could probably get those, which is really, really hype, <laughs> so, well, I, I, I can't wait to see Legendaries start spawning in events, uh, that will be awesome and more uniques too although it's probably not going to be <laughs> super helpful <laughs> okay the next um thing we got through that update was showcase incubator um which is this week's showcase incubator although um don't be fooled it's actually guaranteed rare it has periodics and poster mentioned on up here but uh minimal guaranteed is rare so you could get these two but it's like super low chance and um if you'd ask me, unless you're a really big fan of these raptors and, you know, for some reason you missed out on one or two last eight, uh, you could probably go for one. But, um, you know, remember the coin sale is still up, so I'd probably go for that first. <laughs> yep, that's where all my cash is going to. And the next piece of news is actually pretty exciting, too. So in the arena incubators and um, I think also the normal uh, epic in incubators and rare incubators at the shop, um, we now have these new dinos in here. So before that, we only had like our old dinos, Concavenator, like uh, Carnotaurus, Echo, um, Delta, Charlie, Blue. All these dinos weren't, were not in the incubator. So our only... Uh, method of, of, of uh, obtaining them was to either buy the showcase incubators or to catch them during the events but now um apparently it looks like they've made their way into the incubators um this was my uh, brother's account he got a 24-hour incubator he got concavenator and uh, echo in it which was awesome <laughs> um okay not concavenator but but echo's cool echo's cool um not strong but you know it's a it's a it's a movie raptor so that's that's good um, apparently, um, we haven't seen reports of them being in the wild yet. Um, uh, I think we could pretty much confirm that they're not in the wild yet. Um, unless you have any sightings of them, please, um, tell us in our Discord at, uh, MetaHub. And then some other little updates, um, some minor ones. You got, um, now we have darting rewards. Every time you get, uh, outstanding darting, you get 20 coins. Um... Uh, that's nice. It's it's not within the uh, coin cap every day, so um, you could obtain more coins if you're really really good at darting. I personally not uh super good at it. You know, I could get an outstanding three or four times a day, but you know, just on stuff like Velociraptors, Notosaurus, and all that, Coolosuchus, 
not <laughs> I'm not gonna get outstanding on a T-Rex. That's <laughs> that's not happening. Um also we had this like really weird icon. If 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 you see um you could easily see this um just um uh if you see a wild dino, just open it up and there's this like white portrait person thing that does nothing. <laughs> so we don't know what that it's for um we'll have to wait on Ludia to see what they say about it. Um apparently it doesn't you know, it's not that interesting, you know, it's just, you know, it's there. <laughs> yeah. But a lot of people are curious. Like, um yesterday on the Discord this was like all the hype, like, oh what's this icon? Um, we're all trying to figure it out, but um uh, no progress so far and also we have some text updates if you uh notice in the darting sequence etc um they have different fonts now and um they fix some texts in the uh, game um i've noticed oh actually not the uh, uh double on our discord uh noticed that um uh decelerating impact is now de uh 50 percent speed deep buff it used to write as 90 percent speed deep buff which didn't really make sense because when you had a um uh for example stegosaurus uh thagmize a notopatosaurus and then notopatosaurus goes back to decel the uh uh stegosaurus the stegosaurus somehow still goes first despite decelerating impact seeing it's 90 percent down so they changed that i guess maybe that the first time the 90 percent was a text error so well they fixed that now you know that Stegosaurus will go first. So, anyways, um, that's all for today. That's the um new updates, the new events. So we got some incubators. We got that sweet, sweet coin deal that everyone needs to go buy right now. <laughs> um, if if you have the cash, and if you don't have the cash, by the way, Tapjoy is having a fifty percent increase on the uh, hard cash you get from their um, uh, free cash offers. So, go to all your Final Fantasy fifteen whatever's. I personally don't have that in my store i don't know why it's i'm sad but you know i got other things to do you know uh, go get all that free cash um and then buy all those coins level up your dinos and then you know you're good to go all right so that's that's all for today um uh really exciting news and i'll see you guys next time